indigenous nations have resided in the present southwestern United States for millennia. Pueblo tribes, descendants of the Anasazi civilization, had established long-standing and thriving urban communities in this region. However, over the past 500 years, they have had to endure the consequences from European colonialism and U.S. occupation. This indefinite colonization led to a sharp decline of their population, land, and culture. The problems that Puebloans face today are grounded in both historic and ongoing legal and spatial frameworks. Disparities in internet access, educational attainment, and unemployment are just a few of the outlying concerns related to Puebloan life. Current legislation disincentivizes development on reservation land, and the capital needed to construct and maintain essential infrastructures is extremely limited. These policies sustain a system in which the infrastructure needed to access important institutions and services, operate homes, businesses, schools, and hospitals, which together generate social and economic capital, cannot be built. To support these vibrant communities in renewing agency over their spatial relationships, a change in the political and legal framework is needed. As it stands, all Indian reservations are heavily funded through the federal agency called the Bureau of Indian Affairs, or the BIA. The Bureau funds reservations through program operations, construction contracts, and land and water settlements. Even though 75% of the total budget goes towards program operations, most of the allocated funds are insufficient, unreliable, and inefficient. To improve the effectiveness of this budget, the influence of an individual Pueblo would not be enough. This necessitates the consolidation of the tribes to create a new organization, the Middle Rio Grande Pueblo Initiative, or the MRGPI. The MRGPI will work closely with tribal communities, advocacy groups, architects, economists, state officials, and lawyers to curate a series of negotiations with the BIA. Part of these discussions will be establishing various districts, outlining particular activities and urban conditions that will receive sequentially reallocated funds based on certain priorities. These priorities will be established through a system of participatory budgeting which initially directs funds towards infrastructure so that the focus for future development will not depend on basic amenity provision. Through this greater agency in the BIA budget, certain spatial problems that contribute to the Pueblo's struggle to overcome their cultural and socioeconomic marginalization would be addressed. The first step would be to target repairing and improving existing roads, electric lines, and water quality in the already established urban areas. With more reliable infrastructure in place at their primary urban cores, a greater focus on developing new spaces can take place. Given an influx of funds and potential construction, a modified adobe brick type could be designed to better receive these improved electrical and plumbing systems making an increase in population easier to manage. As these reservations appeal to more people seeking satisfactory housing and opportunities, trying to regulate new construction for homes, stores, and other facilities would become a priority to the individual Pueblo councils. To facilitate and keep record of new development, a modification to the traditional property assignment system could be created that utilizes roof space and finds productive uses for facades and corridors.
Through this system, individual pueblos could create unique spatial potentials that would contribute to the stimulation of contextual development. Once urban growth is stabilized, funds are then reallocated to promote the construction of an extensive inter-pueblo road network that connects these renewed communities to one another. This road network sets up the conditions for further specialization of districts emerging alongside. As this process of creating sustainable economies, societies, and urban spaces continues, the ideal vision is to depend less on the BIA and more on themselves.